Using filters is a great way to finish your images off without having to make loads of really minor adjustments with sliders. But the trick is finding exactly the right filter to complement the subject that you've got a picture of. Here are a few quick tips that will help you find the right filter every time. When you're choosing a filter to go with one of your pictures, you want to be thinking about finding an effect that really complements your subject. So here we've got this great kind of mid 70s phone and what we're looking to do is find an effect that makes the picture look like it's taken at the same time as our subject was made. So what we'll do is we'll find a nice clean looking three quarter shot without too much stuff going on in the background. And then the filter that we want to use is gonna to have to be something that looks appropriate. So we're not looking to use these kind of punchy, really colorful, bright, jolly filters. What we're looking for something is a bit more kind of washed out, something that looks like it was shot in the 70s. The filter that I really like for this frame is this one right here. What it's done is it's introduced this kind of green tinge over the top of everything. It's really reduced the contrast and the saturation of the picture. And what we end up with is a frame that looks appropriate to our subject. Finding the right filter can save you absolutely loads of time in the edit of your pictures versus messing around with sliders for contrast and saturation, all that kind of stuff. For this frame here, what we want is to keep all of the color in our subject and bring it away from its background so we get something nice and dramatic looking. So we'll find a nice looking frame here where we're not cutting off any of the leaves of our plant. And then as we come through our filters, what we're looking for is something that kind of does a nice job without looking really crazy. So as we come through, you can see the first handful that we pick up here are really kind of distinct looks. They look a little bit too overdone for my liking. So as we come around, I quite like the look of this one. A really useful trick that we have here is this compare button where when we rest our finger on it, we can see the image before we applied the filter and after, and that's just a really quick and easy way to make sure that we're not introducing too much drama into our picture that's gonna end up with it looking kind of funny. What I like about this filter is it's really upped all of the highlights in our image, so we get this nice, bright, clean looking background right there. We've also added some saturation in to the reds, greens, and yellows of our plant, and we end up with a subject that looks really clean, nice and dramatic. Mm -hmm.